In this second section of the AppNote video, we are going to get started with the creation of the project using STM32Cube IDE. We are going to start by opening STM32Cube IDE and create a new project. To do so, you can simply click on File, New, STM32 Project. Go on the Board Selector tab and search for VL475. Select the first board. Click Next. Give a project name. Click Finish here. And when prompt uh, to initialize all the peripheral uh, with the default mode, select No to avoid generating unused code. We will be configuring an I2C interface to communicate with the accelerometer and a UART interface for the basic logging. We're going to start by adding the accelerometer driver from the Xcube MEMS components. To do so, we need to open the software pack selector in the pinout configuration. Apply the board part filter and under the MEMPS package, select uh, the LSM6 DSL as I2C. We are back to the main interface and now we need to configure the I2C peripheral that is under connectivity. So we're going to select I2C2 and configure it as I2C. Here we need to select uh, the um, I2C mode and configure it as fast mode. So it's gonna uh, work at 400 kilohertz. And uh, in the GPIO settings, we should check that uh, PB10 and PB11 are configured as I2C. We actually need one more pin to interface the sensor and receive the intrap one signal. You can check out the IoT node user manual for the schematics and I2C pin out and the intrap one signal from the accelerometer. As you can see in the schematic, we need to configure PD11. So under GPIO, we search for PD11 and we need to make sure that it's configured as external interrupt mode with the rising edge. And then on, under NVIC, we need to make sure that uh, the corresponding interrupt is enabled here and it should be already done. Now we need to configure the Xcube MEMS1 package. So we are gonna need to expand the software pack here select uh, the ST Microelectronics Xcube MEMS1 enabled here the package and on the platform settings select uh, I2C2 the last peripheral that we are going to use is the user one select user one under the connectivity interface Enable the asynchronous mode. If not already configured, set the baud rate to 115,200 here. And then under the GPIO settings, make sure that PB6 and PB7 are associated with the UART1. This UART will be used to send log messages to the PC. The MCU configuration is now complete and you can generate the code either by saving your project or by clicking project generate code. All the code needed for the peripherals configuration has been generated. Now it's time to add our application code. To facilitate this step, we'll copy the code directly from the wiki page. In the project explorer panel, double click on core source main.c to open the code editor for the user application code. The first section to be added is the private includes. 
here we have three different files and are the header files for the accelerometer, the I2C bus and the SDIO used for the printf output. Simply copy this code here. The second part uh, is the private variable section and it's here. We can go back to the wiki page and copy these two lines. Here we have the definition of a structure for the motion sensor and uh, that already received variable that is used to notify when new data is available. Copy here. Okay, now we're gonna copy the MEMC init function definition. And go back. Uh, we're gonna copy the actual function. This function has to be copied in the user code four, section four. I'm gonna go back here and usually it's after all the code generated by the tool. Here. This function is used to configure the accelerometer for a 26 Hz sample rate, plus or minus 4G range, and an interrupt for the data radius. Can go back. Now we need to copy the callback that's used uh, uh, when uh, we receive an interrupt from the sensor. And this function also goes inside the code begin for. And then uh, we're gonna redefine the write. This is done in order to be able to use the printf. Now we're gonna copy a new definition of the error handler to have uh, like a toggle LED in case of errors. And at this point we can go back to the main and start copying application code in the main. First we need to initialize a variable and initialize the sensor. That's done in the main here. And then in the while loop, uh, we implement a simple loop uh, that waits for data to be available and then send data over uh, UART to the PC. At this point, we can simply project, compile. Now the project. Here we have zero error, zero warning, so we are ready to download and debug the project. I already have a ball connected to the PC, so I can simply download the binary by clicking run, run as STM32 application. Now QID is gonna download the binary into the board. Here, now it's done. Now once done, I can simply open TerraTerm and connect to the STLink virtual com port. Make sure that uh, the serial port is set to 1500,200. And here we can see the data from the accelerometer. Now that we are done with the code, we can go back to the wiki page for a few remarks. First, to capture data, you can copy paste the serial output into a CSV text file, or you can use the following command on a Linux machine. In the wiki page, you can also find a Python script that can be used to plot data. Here you can see the output. Uh, the CSV file can be manually edited for data cleanup, and once you are satisfied with the capture, they can be used for machine learning model training. Thank you.